We're here in the RPM shop. We're looking at a, uh, a world block. This is their 9200 deck block. We're also using the Bill Mitchell cylinder heads. And we also have an intake manifold that's not going to fit. So I'm going to show you how we're going to make this fit. Our block is only so wide with our cylinder heads installed. And our intake manifold is actually even wider than the space provided by this combination. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit out of this area here. So we'll cut the manifold and we'll remove maybe a half an inch or so. We're going to weld it all back together to make it fit. The other option is you could take material off of here. But as you can see, we've got about a half an inch of actual flange here. We want to make sure that we've got something sturdy to mount to the cylinder heads. So we're going to take a section out of here on each one of the runners and uh, hopefully that'll make it fit. You can see now that the intake is actually three pieces. We have the two side rails that are cut. I flattened those out and made them look pretty good. And then we've got the center section and the plenum that we're going to weld on now. Cutting the intake, we kind of got it to fit pretty decent uh, between the two cylinder heads. And we're just going to uh, going to weld it now. So you can see down there, hopefully you can see a little bit where the port lineup is pretty good. It's maybe a better view there. But it did, uh, it did offset a little bit, which is uh, to be expected because we've got these angles to the runners. Um, but we're going to try and weld that up and see if we can do some port matching and all that kind of good stuff after we get it welded.